Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. This is Alfred, and today we will be talking about logging the data that is coming out of our Arduino. We want to log it to a CSV file in our computer. So this is an example. So this is from the previous video. Uh, as we can see, we have uh, this data logged on our logdata.csv file and uh, let's go ahead and not save it and we are saving it on our, on our desktop so we're saving it on the computer desktop and this is the file right here all right so how do we do this let's let's bring back our c sharp c sharp application Okay, perfect. So remember our Arduino code is quite simple. So we have, we are just um, printing, using the serial port to print out this message. And uh, if you know um, CSV file, for every single comma, it will uh, make it a new a new cell so I'm going to remove this comma so this all this line will be all in one so let's go ahead and upload it to our Arduino yeah we have it here okay cool <clears throat> so we have our Arduino plugged into the COM port and you know, that will be COM port 6 okay so now we are uploading. Here we go. So as we could say, if we go to serial, excuse me, serial monitor, we should start seeing that message come come in. All right, and it's, it looks like it's coming in every two seconds. Perfect. And the reason every two seconds is because we are delaying our loop every two seconds so now our code should still, so this is a previous code what this code does um, essentially it will open up the com port use the baud rate and now we could be talking to the Arduino serial serial communication so and uh, whenever our uh, data is received, the serial port class triggers this method, which is this method, and the method just write the information on the console. And we should be able to see this coming. Here we go. So we are seeing the same message that we were seeing here on the Arduino IDE. We are seeing the same message on our C sharp application or C, C sharp console application. All right. So if we press a key, we should it should stop. Here we go. It stopped, and that's it. So that was from last video. Now this video we want to add a way to save this file on, on here. So let's go ahead and delete this one. Um, okay, close it. T -t 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 -t. Now let's try to delete it again. All right, go ahead and delete it. All right, here we go. So we don't have that file anymore here. So the first thing we want to do, um, I will go ahead and use. Create a string, a list of string. I'll call it in data. So now, all right, click on it, click on um, type in control, um, full stop. So it will suggest the intelligence will suggest a couple stuff so I want to say using system collection generic 
and when I, I click on that it will add automatically add the um, system collection generic here so now that we have this so this is basically our bucket now that we have this variable created now I want to think of where do I want to save this data before I think of that let me go ahead and add that data so whenever whenever um, whenever the event handler triggers I want to do an add data dot add in data dot oh okay so this is a static a static method void so I need to add a static prefix here now it should be able to see it huh. what was the name okay in data control C oh I have to in the cell okay so I have this type of name okay let me I will just go ahead and change it um just call it data data all right so go ahead and call it data then add here we go so now I want to add in data so okay so now I am filling up this bucket every single time this event triggers so now I want to find a way to save it as a CSV file somewhere I think I want to do it here so after I hit a key and the survey port closes I want to save it here so let's go ahead and type file so it looks like I am not able to see the system class so I'll go ahead and hover on hover on the file control full stop then I could say using system IO so now I can say append all lines so I want to environment dot get get forward apart environment dot special folder dot desktop mm. so now I want to add the name so so let's say um, log file let's call it log file this time instead of log data dot csv then so now I want to say data let's let me go ahead and make this a little smaller okay so it's a little bit easier to see okay all right so I don't need this here we go okay let's make this just a little bit make it smaller all right that's better okay so this will save save the file after we hit a, a, any key reads any key on the folder so yeah that's pretty much it you know me I like to keep it simple and um, use small code to do a lot so this should probably this should do it uh, let's go ahead and run the program so everything should still be the same but now when we hit any key on the keyboard here we go we should save it yep here you go so it saves it as log file okay so looks like this thing this is giving extra spaces 
um, for every single append. So what we could do to fix that, let's go ahead and delete this file. All right. What we could use to do to fix that is to right here, we can add a trim. Uh, we want to trim off a, a new line character. Let's see, I think that should be then end it with a bracket. Yeah. Alright. So let's go ahead and run it again. Alright, so here we go. So let's check it. Alright, here we go. So now we are getting, you know, all our data from our Arduino. We are getting it here. Um, so we could check if this is real by going back here and uh, say add something. Hello from Arduino code. I send this message. Um, how about how about change this to sending from Arduino? Arduino. So Arduino says hi. Okay. Now let's go ahead and upload it. All right, so let's check it on our serial monitor. Uh, we should be seeing Arduino says hi. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and close this, delete our file, and go back to our code. No changes, right? Go ahead and run it. All right, we're getting something. So let's go ahead and hit a key on our keyboard. Go to our folder, open it, and here you go, voila. So this is perfect. So everything works good. How about we add uh, one, one more complexity to this? So how about we add a date time? date time dot now string okay let's see Let's go ahead and close, close it off here. All right, so now we are adding the date as well as the, so most of the login that we do, um, we typically want to add date time to the login. Um, notice that our, on our console, on our console, we are not really tracking the date time, but you typically on the logs, you want to track it because the that file will live on your computer for a long time. So you want to have a way to to know what when when the when the data was logged. So see that's the date time and here's message. So I did not delete. So everything that is being logged is being appended. So let's go ahead and delete this file and run it again. All right, here you go. So let's go ahead and check our log file. Our log file, sh all of them should have a date time on it. All right, all right, looking good. Um, you have, I'll have to handle this later. So usually when the com communication with the serial port um, starts off, um, sometimes it does miss, depending on where it started off, it will, it will miss some messages. So 
um, this you could handle on in code but for the purpose of our video today we just want to you know log whatever we are getting from from our Arduino we just want to log it so the, in this case this could be like an analog sensor um, a pressure sensor um, temperature sensor whatever is you know outputting some kind of um, data or uh, reading here so you could always log it with your c -sharp code and save it on file uh, so that you could uh, use it for some kind of analysis or something so yeah i hope that was um useful i believe we will call it a day and i um, hope this was useful let me know if you have any questions on the comment section all right thank you bye bye